I just, I'm trying to hype myself up. Okay. Let me no. ESPN. It, you coming off the stream? Oh, I'm, I'm streaming now. No. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs>
A P C Sports. Hi everybody, my name is Angelo Salante. With me today, the cast, the crew, the people I can't do this with now. Hey everybody, I want you to say hello to Max Door Frisk and producer extraordinaire, the one and only Noel Salvador. Noel! Max, what's going on today? Nothing. <laughs> this race. This race. <laughs> what's I going tried. on? <laughs> I, you know what? I dug all the way into the ESPN bag for that. Dude, I did. we cannot ESPN with you, okay? We cannot. <laughs> what it does is make us feel like, okay, inadequate, you know? <laughs> I dug <laughs> like, all oh. the way into the ESPN bag for that. Just it's like, what do you what do you say after that? Hi. <laughs> I'm, I'm mad at this. I'm like, energy. Nope. Hi. <laughs> uh, <I>, well. <laughs> Hi, Max. Hello. No, it's uh, no. I think um, I think we can't contain the excitement. I think that's what it is. Where we no, are pretty you're doing excited a great job about of containing this. it today. <laughs> No, we're definitely excited about it. Um, you know, as we say, final race of the season. Um, you know, we're, we're lining up for a fantastic finale. I mean, if, if you look at the uh, standings, which we'll go through a little bit later on, uh, this race really has it all to play for, even um, with regards to who takes the, um, the Drivers' Championship as well. So it, there's all to play for. If, if this race is anything to go by last week, where we had just fantastic drama right at the end, um, you know, we're in for just a, a truly magnificent finish to this already brilliant season. Talking about last week's race, Max, I think that, that leads us right into our race statistics, our race stats. I'm going to shoot right over to Noel. Noel, you had those stats ready for us today? Oh, you, no, you didn't. I'm just... <laughs> no, you I didn't. Keep, I keep trying. I do. Well, you know what? You don't let me know these before. I mean, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm, mm -mm. You're killing me. <laughs> you're, killing you're killing me, me Smalls. You're killing, you're me, killing smalls. me, Smalls? You're killing me. <laughs> so, and in the Constructor Championship, we've got in 10th place, Team Spirit Racing, 8th place with 17 points, Rock Rose Racing, Rock Rose Driver, Pasta Lopez, a.k.a. Lasagna McFarlane. You've got Scuderia Gatino with Madison, DJ Madison, 32 points, 65 points for Husseria Racing with Cherno Nova and Candy tomorrow. Uh, uh, just a quick note, Cherno will be replaced today. Cherno is going to be uh, replaced today by Jack Taylor. Now, Jack has uh, raced full-time in seasons one or two before, so we're not looking at, we're looking at somebody who has seat time, who has experience. <laughs> this could be something, this could be something, I think a bit of a shakeup from this area. Carmona Racing, Carmona Racing with 80 points, Emmy Blueberry, and Australia Sonic with Con. 80 points. 80 points. Carmona Racing, 80 points. 110 points. Fourth place. APC Racing. That's Idu Velde and Kelly Curie. We've got 130 points for Tweedledees. I was looking at the wrong thing. Sure. Kill yes, I yeah. I kill it every week. <laughs> Two Eagle D's with 130 points. Andres Magali and Pablo Bakerly. The Mac and the Bacon. Mostly well, Mac and because Bacon ain't been there. <laughs> I've been here the last few weeks. I'm <laughs> just. That point. That part. <laughs> that part. Two Eagle D's. I'm going to just say if uh, Pablo had been here, Two Eagle D's might be in a much better position. <laughs> Longfall Racing in second place. Kira Restrepo uh, and Nicole Dallas for Longfall Racing. 181 points and the complete walk away this season. Sigma Racing. Eli Bennett and Little Bear. I'm not even going to say how many more points because it's, it's. Fans slide. They got all the points. All the points. They're double ahead of uh, the closest. <laughs> they got all the points. You could double <laughs> the closest competitor and still 
just on GP. You could double the closest competitor right now. Just double their points. And that competitor could win today. And they still wouldn't get the Constructor Championship. Constructor Championship already locked up sitting racing. For a goal conclusion, but it's the race for second place right now, and the field has pretty much decided itself. You know, we've got Eli Bennett and Little Bear right now uh, head to head for the driver championship. And so what Sigma Racing is just uh, moving, they've been moving the, 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 those sticks every week. Like, hey, you know, this is where you thought that you could go. I'm sorry, we're going to take it further and further and further away. You know, that, 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 that is what seems to have been the thing the walk away of Sigma Racing. And I'm not sure if you can, uh, you know, now. adjust for that kind of dominance. In a racing week, you know this is uh, this season. This season to me would say, hey, maybe we need to look at the rules. Maybe we need to see what this we can do to tighten these back up. A lot up. like last season. <laughs> but thank you, thank you. Yeah, it does. Um, lot. just being honest. Just being honest. <laughs> It's the last race, people. Only one of us actually showed up ready today. Just one. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody else left their professionalism at home. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Max came in with an entire crew that was ready to pour his tea. That was nice. I didn't realize Max had groupies like that. Some of them were kind of cute. But, I mean, they just... <laughs> Yeah, I think it was just a couple of people. Um, yeah, kind of looking to introduce them to uh, racing and uh, the excitement that we enjoy every race. So, just spreading the love. That's what it is. Max is spreading the love. Right? We didn't get no Tito. I don't know who's he spreading <laughs> it with. It's definitely not us. <laughs> Max is definitely spreading the love now. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> We got a few spectators though, we got quite a few spectators in this last race, I'm just looking down there. I'm just gonna say this though, talking about spreading the love, you know, I know I'm in, I, I know I just kinda, I didn't put on the race jacket today, I just kinda came in and made sure that I was uh, camera ready, but ma'am, you already on vacation over there. Who, me? Yeah, you. What's wrong with what I'm wearing? Nothing, you just got your whole hot girl summer planned out already. <laughs> <laughs> Real hot girl shit. Oh, I can't say that on TV. Beep! <laughs> <laughs> Family show. Family show. Yeah. Well, you know, this ain't urban. <laughs> we got some fine and fabulous looking spectators. Speaking of people who dressed up. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to get a few more here, so. I mean, I figure if Max could have a crew, I can get one too. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not, I'm no Max, but, yeah. you know. Just make sure they script down. They got a script down when they're here. Usually my crew doesn't mind scripting. Oh, not strip, yeah. Not stripping. Gotcha. It's scripting. Crew, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to throw no dollar bills at nobody over here. Please don't throw any dollar bills on the tracks to the drivers. That will affect traction. That's a thing. <laughs> And as we've been watching practice today, I think we want to bring out the practice rounds today have shown some really interesting things about this course. Number one, probably the longest, and I, I will need to verify this. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, oh, and uh, we, we'll talk about that, yeah. Um, so I, I will have to verify this, but I think this may be the longest track. You know, we're gonna go get back back word from Luke on this. Just a verification. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, but I, I just I believe this might be the longest track in the series. Like as far as how long it's gonna take to film. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> I agree. One of our viewers said, um, hey, that implies there was some professionalism before. <laughs> you know what? I don't... I, I don't know what 
much I'm talking. You know what? See, I don't. I'm not gonna take this from them and you, okay? <laughs> <sighs> Andrew be trying to show us out with his uh, his uh, commentating skills. You know, just because we all can't be extra on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about. I'm literally coming in here. Just... I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. See this? Is... See, y'all see this? This is what I'm talking about. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I just came in here. <laughs> we don't all have those radio voices, you know. I don't have a radio voice. Did you all hear that? I don't have a radio voice. Go pedal okay. that someone else, sir. Go pedal that somewhere else. <laughs> Nobody here is buying that. My gosh. Well. Would now oh, be a dear. good time for us to uh, take everybody through the driver championship standings? Well, let's take a look. I mean, we're going to leave that to you, Max. Sure. Okay. So, first of all, we'll start in reverse order. So. Drivers currently on zero points, uh, taking positions 18 through 24 would be Becky Aker, DJ Madison Luck, Valky Rain, Donovan Mikalski, Eden Moss Gisco, and Ellie Fernelli, respectively. Then in position 17 with one point, and position 16 on one point, Cherno Nova and Virgo Wolf. Position 15, Taylor Arello, representing Team Spirit Racing on seven points. Asdrea Sanekan on 8 points, dropping down 1 position to 14, representing Carmona GP1. In position 13, Fabian Litton on 11 points, down 1, down one position from last week, who is currently a free agent on 11 points. Pastor Lopez, position 12, also on 12 points, up 2 positions from last week, representing Rock Rose Racing. Position 11, Carly Kiori on 14 points, representing APC Racing. And now the top 10. In position 10, Mats on 30 points, representing Scuderia Gatino. Position 9, Pablo Bakerly from Tweedledees on 45 points. And Candy Tomorrow in position 8 on 64 points, driving for Husario Racing. Position 7, Kira Restrepo on 68 points, with Longfall Racing. Position five, uh, position six, I beg your pardon, Emmy Blueberry on 72 points, representing Carmona GP1. Now the top five. In position five, Andrews Mackley on 85 points, driving for Tweedledees this season. Position four, Edu Velde on 90 points, driving for a PC racing. Position three, Nicole Dallas on 113 points, driving for Longfall Racing. And two familiar names represent positions one and two. In position two, Eli Bennett on 194 points, representing Sigma Racing. And his teammate, Little Bear, on 195 points, representing Sigma Racing. There's just one point in it. So this race is all to go for between Little Bear and Eli Bennett for the crown for this season's trophy. And we'll have more information on this uh, on today's race as we get as we get the head counts together. However, one thing we do want to throw in: APC Racing will not have a representative day. Looks like we are going to have <clears throat> looks like we're going to have uh, the no show from both Edu and Cali. So, yeah, it's going to be a Sunday. It's a Sunday. And again, uh, look, uh, uh, I believe both drivers may have a uh, RL. Opportunities that uh, have out right. I would like to ask missed. anybody who's listening in on the stream if you guys can hear us, if you're tuned in with us, if you would just be careful with your gestures. Um, some of the gestures that are being played in local are taking over the sound of our voices. So we know we're excited and we want to play gestures to support our friends, but. There's a radio playing. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Shout out to our producer if you can hear him in the background. Of course, everybody can hear our producer in the background. Yeah. He's a loud puppet mucker. But <laughs> one day he'll learn how to type, and that will be the day that we'll all be born. 
We need to find where the radio, the, where the music is coming from. There's some music on the sim coming from somewhere that's interfering with the stream. Translation, if you're that loud motherfucker and you're listening right now, pardon my language, but you're a loud motherfucker. Stop. Thank you. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> the track ain't colorful, but the language is. Moving on. <laughs> so they're down there having their racers meeting before they start their um, <sighs> I'm gonna I'm just gonna look at you because you, you've been doing this all season. You know what they're about to start. Qualifying. Yes, I just couldn't think of the word. <laughs> Water. I'll just sit here and, um, yeah. So, Luke is saying, welcome ladies and gentlemen to the 2022 Straka Grand Prix, the season finale. Quite a lot of missing drivers, so traffic should be pretty light. That being said, I urge every driver to give their competitors their space during qualifying. Beginning being the low head count, we will only have two qualifying sessions. The top five will move on to qualifying two. Any questions? I've got comments and concerns, but it has nothing to do with me. <clears throat> I'm just gonna say the bourbon will be flowing liberally today. Bourbon Sundays. The Have absence of. Mm -hmm. No, I was just going to say the uh, the absence of um, certain drivers today, especially given the current standings, does give a great opportunity for other drivers to move up one or multiple positions in the rankings. So it's all to play for, really, not just for the top two, but also for other positions further below. So, as uh, has been mentioned by the race director, it's all to play for. It's worth giving it your best shot because there are many, several positions up for grabs today. Well, uh, another thing you want to keep in mind, even if we, we have several positions uh, up for grabs, but also every driver today will be will be making points. Absolutely right. Sometimes it's good just to show up. That's one thing that the, the play of consistency. <coughs> and, uh,. <laughs> We've got some wonderful race announcements to come through after qualifying. It's quite a bendy track, several chicanes, fast straights to be able to take the car up to uh, close to the max and then coming down several turns. It's not just going to be about kind of going straight. Drivers will need to be careful. In the free practice session we did see a few cars clip edges and spin out so it uh, should make for an interesting contest today. Average times coming around here. With a tray. I, I did get this from our uh, race director, so the average time coming through here should be right around 28, 27 seconds. So this is the possibility of being a very fast course, depending on the drivers. 65 laps, 65 laps. One thing I would like to point out, as we're talking about the, as we're talking about this track design, uh, one thing that the drivers do need to be careful of making it, making their way into pit road. You've got an actual switchback <laughs> going into pit yes, road. Yes, indeed. So exactly. 
the amount of speed that has to be reduced just to make it on the pit road today you're going to see some you're going to see a lot of heat going into the brakes just to make it in to get those tires changed meanwhile for everybody and for everybody that's out on the track this is this is going to be that one time where you are qualifying everybody gets to have their space I think I want it. I would love to see on the track day. You know, uh, I, I'd love to see to see if this pack can really keep up with the head. I mean, this is this is the opportunity for some of our newer drivers, some of the younger drivers, some of the, some of the less experienced drivers to really get in there and uh, actually have a chance to compete between the, with uh, the lead. And the track design itself has been kind of. The designer has been quite generous with the width of the track, so there are ample opportunities for individuals to be able to come in and do overtaking manoeuvres. So, given that you know there are less points where you get completely choked up and are stuck behind the cars, there is sufficient width to enable those uh, overtaking moves. And that's, to be honest, that's one of the things which I personally am looking forward to in this race, given its current design. Gotcha. Well, <laughs> I think our noise issue has been so. <clears throat> okay. So who's winning? <laughs> okay, you are just. <laughs> I'm just. I am totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to announce. Andres, uh, Andres got in my box. And he's like, he's like, I really want to win this race. He just wants to really take this one. So I know he's going to be working hard today. He's my long ranger, and he has my full support. <laughs> well, well, shout out to Tweedledee. Tweedledee is announcing a new product today, aren't they? Are they? Or uh, the Tweedledee's Farms? They're oh yeah. A, they're going to be. Uh, it's not a new product, from what I understand, but they're, it's updated. they're relaunching an older one. Okay. Yeah. Updated products. Data products and Twitter these hearts. Yeah. Shop today. Reformulated. <laughs> new and improved as we like to say. In America, new and improved. <laughs> Which usually means it's it's a horrible thing that got even more bad. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. New and improved Cheerios. Now with more cheery and less O's. <laughs> You are stupid! <laughs> what, just, what just happened here? I don't, I don't understand it. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> More cherry. Now we oh, let's cherry. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> New Cheerios. We're approaching the uh, halfway mark of the first qualifying session and as was predicted, uh, the drivers, some of the drivers are setting some really fast times. So, Antresh Nizna with the fastest current lap on 25.858 seconds, followed by Candy tomorrow with 26 seconds, Emmy Blueberry on 26.168, and Subaja in fourth current position on 26.297 seconds. So, while we figured it might be a 28 second lap, the drivers are kind of really pushing it already, which is which is fantastic to see. Candy's time's whole look and whole look during our race, that's going to be what is a, a real determinant of how fast. So, highlights of the season. Anybody got any favorite moments? This is the last race, you know. I think there's favorite so many. Moments. Let me see. Uh... Yelsa. <laughs> I think, I mean, the thing is that it's, it's like, you know. So exactly, there's so many. There's so many moments. There's so many. How do you this, just pick one? Like this, randomly. <laughs> I think, I mean, you know, it's, it, it is a case of, you know, what kind of. Um, you know, because you've got different categories of your favorite um, uh, points, you know, in different races. You, you have, whether if you're looking for just 
pure consistency of performance with like almost flawless driving then you have your picks for that there are other races where we've seen some such clever moves on the track to take over people like forcing somebody into a tight position fainting going on the outside as soon as their car moves cutting on the inside and then of course the drama from last week where you know there's there's one there's one spin out which occurs and that kind of completely changes the dynamics of the race outside of obviously the race leader so it's it's quite tricky to kind of pick one it depends on which category we talk about I just, but i just gave a few examples there i think my favorite thing this season is the camera work the camera work and these logos that are flashing up on the screen i mean that i mean this this filming this this, this racing isn't no joke you know and um i just feel like that that is but as far as like the race my favorite race i really feel like even though it was later in the season was the last race it was just so exciting you know and then we just had a lot more content it just i just really liked the last the race before this one that we filmed but one of our viewers says the best moments are anytime eli crashes into the wall so that's a big eli supporter right there <laughs> Although there won't be too many of those moments to cherish, then I guess we don't have obviously... walls to crash into today. <laughs> that, that's yeah, the big no, point. The big takeaway there: we don't even have walls. So. Well, they got curves. Yeah, they'll need to be careful because obviously our race director has shown that he will issue warnings if people try to take their various shortcuts and if those warnings are not adhered to, he will not hesitate to issue penalties. And speaking of penalties, I'm sorry, actually, yeah, penalty to speak of. But yeah, I would like to shout out to production. Production this year, production this season has definitely gone and gone to another level. You know, you know, shout out to the production team, aka Noel. Mostly Achilles. You know what? I'm gonna just stop every hey, time. Just... What's this? What's this thing in the middle of the of the track? This like little curve that has like a blue barrier on it. What's that about? Oh, okay. Well, that's just a way to do it. Making sure. So it, you have various track configurations for different races. In this case, they've decided that they wanted to uh, have two different uh, two different versions of a turn that are available for different races. So. In a faster in, in, in a faster race, they may want drivers to slow down right there. They would shift that barrier over uh, to uh, directly in front of where it is, make the tech, get that barrier a 90 degree turn, and now drivers have to go into that really, 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 really fast switchback to get back to the track. Oh, okay. Exactly. So this this track lends itself towards as. Um just mentioned there multiple configurations. I think know what I say. Absolutely. No, correct. Don't give him that, Max. Don't. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Do you know what you have just done? <laughs> Will he not be able to get out of the doorway on so, the exit? <laughs> <laughs> We're not so going to be able to gonna, breathe. <laughs> I'm just going to point out. I'm just going to point out. There are a lot of missing drivers today, nine drivers in the field, including included in our missing drivers. <clears throat> Little baby. I did oh. notice that. I did notice that he was missing today. So for our, so again for our qualifying sessions, all that there all nine drivers are gonna be in the first qualifying sections, then the top five going into qualifier number two. We and uh, we're getting set up for qualifier number two as we speak. Jack Taylor with a false lap, with a false lap, will start from the back for triggering the gate to. Oh, we got penalties. Penalties. Well, you were talking about penalties. I thought this was a great time. Penalties. Penalties that are gonna uh, probably. Will Change those penalties the resonate across the, or resonate across the race with the field this narrow? I don't foresee that. Yeah. 
I mean, everybody's got time and space to get out here today. That's the one thing. You got the, you got a few drivers on the track. I'll tell you one thing you're going to have is good air. Good air is a trick to get the good motor out here. You got that space you can get out here. You can really get out here and drive. That's what I'm going to tell you about this thing, Bob. I'm sorry. Who let Bill Bob in here? I don't know. There, baby funny. Jesus. <laughs> Who let him in? Who let him in? And the race director is. Sorry, just I didn't mean to cut you there. Um, the race director has. The race director has announced that eliminated after the first qualifying session, Jack Taylor, Eli Bennett, Taylor Arello, and Pastor Lopez eliminated after Q1. So, some work for Eli Bennett to do with the Taylor, the tape is to be. Eliminated is such a harsh word. That makes it sound like you're gonna get, you know, put into Squid Games or something. <laughs> <laughs> gonna maybe put him in front the, of the the firing maybe, squad. Maybe that's the next thing we should figure out how to, how to do in SL. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do SL Squid Names. I'll, I'll enjoy accommodating them. Squid Names, Squid Games. Squid Names, really? Squid Names. That's what we're gonna call it. Squid this would names. be exciting to accommodate. Somebody did some Squid Games. <laughs> and he's dead, and so she. And well, and like eliminated! <laughs> it's not like the running man where they had live commentary going on when the uh, mm -hmm. show was ongoing. Correct, Running man was fun. But running Love man, that, I just man. felt like was like an extension of Blade Runner. I just felt like it was the same universe. Maybe it's just a me thing. Is that a TV show? Mm -hmm. Running man? No. Yeah. Look, uh, girl, look. Alas, thank you for making me feel old. Appreciate that. Sorry. <laughs> Marty, I didn't know what you guys were talking about. I'm just trying to learn things, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so while we're learning things, Android 13, this portion of the show is brought to you by Android 13. No, they didn't pay us for this, and that's why it's not a real commercial. Good job. But we do have a commercial you can do. Yeah. We do have a sponsor. Yes. We have a, a boat sponsor. Your favorite one. I, I, How could you forget? No, I, I don't know who that is. Which, which, which one is that? How could you forget? BBX. BBX is sponsoring us? Yes. Again? Yes. They were so boats. impressed with your commercial and how thrilled you are to get their boats and how supportive you are and the amazing things you say about their boats. They said, let's do it again. <laughs> they didn't give me a boat. <laughs> but BBX, I'm, I'm saying with BBX, they're one of the top, they're one of the top aquatic manufacturers right here in Second Life. If you're looking for aquatic entertainment, if you're looking for your way out to the Blake Sea, you want to make sure that your party on the Blake is what it is all that it can be. You need to be a BBX. BBX. Can get I get a boat, boat though? Today. <laughs> can I get a boat though? Can get I get a boat, boat though? today? BBX designs. <laughs> Let's you get know, on there. I need a new plane. I need a plane. So. BBX don't have planes. I know. That's why we need a plane sponsor. <laughs> I need somebody to build me a TSI. Like, I need, I need, a, I need a TSI, a sling TSI. That's what I need. You yeah, because everybody knows what you're talking about now. Yeah, but no, no, I'm not speaking to everybody, but the airplane manufacturers do. And the airplane <laughs> manufacturers should be, if the airplane manufacturers are watching us, as they should be, because if you are a manufacturer of quality and sell goods, and you can understand the sound of my voice, so can your customers. Please. Reach out to Achilles Salva today at your spot right here on the ABC Sports. See how I did that? Yes, I'm so like impressed. That. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Segway out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so if there are listeners, sorry, you I beg your pardon. So if there are listeners, uh, aspiring drivers who championship teams and they wanted to get involved in the racing as drivers or teams 
what would be the advice on how they go about doing that? Because I'm pretty sure these races have inspired many people. They would want to reach out to the group of car movement. And uh, definitely, definitely speak with the group of car movement. Uh, as, uh, as we talk about our next season, people being inspired, uh, we've got six applications already in five of which have already been approved. And that includes Carmona GP1, Lucerian, Team Spirit, Benito Sigma, and Rock Rose, all scheduled. <laughs> all scheduled to come back. I was like, dang, did he break? Yeah, break? I did. I did. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> my, my, my brain stopped. <laughs> Neurological Wi-Fi had to get in there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mo I tried to multitask it, Dale. <laughs> uh, okay, so when I do it, it's not called that. It's just called not being ready. <laughs> no, because you're just really not ready. That. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, it's not the same. We are not the same here. <laughs> This is not the same thing we're talking about. Why? I see how it is. Why, why are you trying to make it seem like... No. Make the excuses for you. No, it's not, a, it's not an excuse. I literally said, what happened? My brain died in that moment. You, uh... Well, maybe my brain dies in that moment. Uh-huh. In those moments. All those moments? All yes, the time. All of them. You know what? I, th this is the thing. I'm talking to my producers now. Next year, can we get a highlight reel? Just like a human, just like a, a nice little highlight reel of our multiple, multiple, wonderful, you know, broadcast moments. That'd be nice. And right? that was the end of the last qualifying. Super so hot. For the final say. Antresh, Antresh, Antresh. Number two. Candy tomorrow in third place. Emmy Blueberry in fourth. Nikolai in fifth. And of course, our pole position goes to the one and only Subaha. Also known as Kira Restrepo. I like Restrepo. Subaha. Sounds like. I mean, I'm pasta. sure that she likes Restrepo too because she made her name Kira Restrepo. I just feel like, you know, I think they call it dead naming people. Free practice two now begins 10 minutes. That means we're going to cut out for just a little bit. We'll be back right after these messages that we don't actually have.
<clears throat> and live on ESPN. Are we back? No. Okay, we are back. And we're not on ESPN. No. Rude. We're on APC. It's better than ESPN. <laughs> because I'm commentating. <laughs> ESPN I'm... don't got me. <laughs> oh God. I mean, yeah. You're right. <laughs> Rude. I am hey, not I bet you don't. in here. I bet you, I, I'll, I'll bet you 200 Linden right now. Without Googling, I bet you don't know what ESPN stands for. You know what? Mm-hmm. can't stand you. <laughs> Everybody's personal service. <laughs> <laughs> now. <laughs> Well, then, what was the acronym around the wrong way? So rude. <laughs> mm, I'm done. Never mind. If you don't put that on the highlight reel, I don't know what goes there. <laughs> I am being disrespected all across this race. You know what? Anyway, Luke would like to point out two things. And one of those is you all should have noticed there are that there is a cone at the end of the pit lane. You are to stay to the right of this cone while exiting. Stay to the right not to the left. Second, the chicane in the final corner is not necessarily a great side-by-side -side area. If you are side-by-side -side -side coming into that and through the corner, either somebody back off or be sure to give your competitor their space. You do not know the track. However, if someone is right on your back wheel, and not alongside you, you do have the right to the corner. The telling driver in that case should back off. And just to make this uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, easier for some of our uh, less uh, race-educated uh, watchers, like me, because I just read it and I have no idea what he's talking about. Basically, what he's saying is that last corner's tight. Either you back off or you take it. But otherwise, it's going to be a problem. <clears throat> Rubbing is racing, people. And it might get a little bit interesting. We just stay in that corner. Stay in the corner. <laughs> And we have the official starting grid. First position, Kira Restrepo. So Kira Restrepo in pole. Second, Andres Mackley. Third, Candy Tomorrow. Fourth, Emmy Blueberry. Fifth position, Nicole Dallas. Sixth, Pastor Lopez. Seventh, Taylor Arello. Eighth position, Eli Bennett. Ninth position, Jack Taylor. And in at tenth, Little Bear. Get that pole, Kira. Go, girl. Mm -hmm go show the boys out there <laughs> this moment of, of girl support brought to you by NBC sports if you can hear the sound of our voice so can your customers if you've got an SO business event or organization that you'd like to advertise with AB sports reach out to our producers Noel or Gilly Sauer you too can be a part of the family right here on the Some statistics on our whole holder today. Kira Restrepo representing Longfall Racing. So Kira has started eight races this season and averages 8.5 points per race. The best race result so far has been second at 
She has held the fastest lap in a race once this season. She has two podiums and the highest grid start so far has been fourth. Of course, that changes today with her being in pole position. Yes, girl! Get it. One thing I'd like to point out also, uh, to everybody, I want to say, uh, as we uh, do our parade lap, I want everybody to take one last look at our safety car. This is going to be the last appearance of our safety car for the last three seasons. That 2022 Camaro, uh, that, uh, that 2022 Camaro has, uh, Corvette, I mean, has uh, graced our track and has uh, taken care of us, led the drivers around that last parade lap. It Basic extinction, it's on, it's, it, this is definitely going to be its last leg. So, <laughs> but that three seasons long, and starting back in November 2020, the Corvette C C7R will be taking its final lap around Straka, the official safety car of Grand P1. Beginning next season, the first round 2022 B at Tokyo, the Carmona T21R will take its place at the head of the grid and lead the pack as the FEA's new safety car. The T21R currently yet to be released to the public is a road going track day supercar with handling derived from the cars of the GP Super Series, capable of seating two authors. Nice. That's so nice. All right, everybody. We it's time to light the fires and burn the tires. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, I don't know who she is. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. Oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> I only have one thing. I just got one thing. <laughs> just one. That's all I got. All right, boys and girls, it's time to kick the tires and light those fires. We've got 65 laps. 65 laps of hardcore GP1 racing. It's what? almost time to go. Keep your eyes on the lights. The anticipation is building right now. The driver's already. We've got Little Bear getting in the stall. Finally, don't know what took him so darn long. I'm holding everybody up. It would be the bear to come in last, right? Boogity, boogity, boogity. You know what? I just got one thing. <laughs> one freaking thing. Every time I say something, you say you got one thing. But you're stealing my entire line. All right, everybody, that's the lights. It's time. Let's go. Boogity, 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 boogity. Slow start there right from Hero the Restrepo. You know what? A little bit of sleep uh -huh. there at the uh, throttle, it seems. Something, something's not happening there. Yeah. Something is happening, but I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I just figured something out. Ooh. No. Well, do share. Mm -mm. But why? Mm -mm. How about you type it? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One lap down. Sixty-four more to go. And Trish Lesnar probably leading the race with a twenty-nine point seven zero five second lap. Tense competition going on at the back there for positions two, three, and four. Life is not being made easy for Kira Restrepo and to hustle off Emmy and Pastor Lopez. Pasta. Pasta Lopez, aka Lasagna. Yes, Lasagna sounds good too. Emmy Pasta sounds good. Why am I so hungry right now? <laughs> 
Oh, has there been a bit of a collision on the track there? Already. Yeah, one of the uh, so little bears had a collision on the side there, so not the best of starts for the bear. Rawr. You know, like a bear. Rawr. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Meanwhile, <laughs> Kira Restrepo. Yeah. Meanwhile, Kira Restrepo leading the pack. <clears throat> Coming through that quick chicane all the way around. And back out to the and back out front. Kira in second place, Antresh in first, Antresh. Antresh, true to his word, he is going out and leaving nothing on the track today. Four laps in, the 65 laps. Really, guys, nothing? Okay. I'm sorry, I was looking at Kira, right? <laughs> Watch it, Kira. And we've still got Shakira, Shakira. So, and uh, like I said, we've still got 65 laps left. We've got 60 laps left to go. 59 laps, 59 laps officially. On, on trash, on trash, Nisa, Nisa. No, Andres, Andres, Andres. You guys are killing me with this on trash. Look, it's on okay. trash. <laughs> Let me, let, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm going to just throw something out here. I speak English, and uh, English doesn't have. Um, I don't speak English. Okay. Andres. 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 So the final end, you know, the final turning just before the, the pit stops. Yeah, yeah, that oh, the said. pit. The pit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that sure sounded like the pit. Yeah, so I think. <laughs> yeah, that yeah he was. Um, <laughs> he took turn and pit. And made it the... uh, yeah, I don't think he said pit that time, but that sure sounded like. Slip of the tongue, as they say. My uh, apologies. That's what often happens when it knows things. Tongue slip at that point. <laughs> um, either way. Kira Restrepo making her way around the point. Andres, I can't roll my tongue like that. It's not good. I speak English. Yeah, I'm lucky I speak English as well, okay? <laughs> Just say. Looks like Little Bear had to log off and come back. She's having some net problems today. Well, shout out to Little Bear. I'm happy to see that. <laughs> However, the show does go on, and competition is hot. We've got our, we've got number one, Andres P, and it is increasing his lead, turn by turn by turn, picking up a little bit every time he goes around the track. Uh, we've got just under, just under, whoa, just over two seconds difference. But on a track this fast, again, we're, we're playing up the speed of this track. These wide turns and the ability, these long straightaways. Two seconds is a lifetime. Yeah. Yeah, still. Quite a lot of action uh, further back on the pack as well with Emmy Blueberry. Having a bit of a tussle there. There's quite a few, quite a few episodes of uh, vehicle contact going on but uh emmy seems to be holding the ground and really there's a there's a pack there of four cars or five cars actually who are just within half a second of each other and really kind of pressing the action at the moment well uh looks like we've got uh we, we, we we've uh this might be it for little bear as far as his race as far as his race for the day little bear officially four laps down what a way to end a career little bear moving into retirement for the fifth time in, in three seasons you're kidding, right? He said he's not retiring. Weren't they one of the teams coming back? Yeah. Uh, little Bear's retiring at the end of the season. <laughs> Three seasons. He's retiring for a couple of months. He's retiring for the fifth time in three seasons. Until, until, the, new, until the new season starts. No, he's retiring for the fifth time in three seasons. No, he's not. It, it is. I've counted. 
Lies. He's not retiring. He retired at the end of our first season. He retired Ooh, in the middle that? of the second season. The cameras were following he any movies there. Retired at the end of the second season. Okay, I'm lying. No, no, no. He did retire twice and then at the end. I am counting right. This is his fifth retirement. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Okay. What were you saying? <laughs> I'm done with all of you. <laughs> well, Security, Max, bring my coat. I'm out. Max was trying to say something. Yeah, no, just one of our um, cameras were following Emmy Blueberry, and then there was uh, quite a lot of uh, tussle going on there between Taylor Arello and Emmy Blueberry. It was a great move on the inside from Emmy, but unfortunately, her front wheel caught the side, and then that resulted in her Funny. slowing down, and then uh, the two drivers, Taylor and the driver in front, continuing creating a further gap. So as I say, the action's not just at the front, We've got uh, drivers really going for all over, which just shows the fantastic commitment and uh, the drive, pun intended, for these drivers to kind of uh, make the race the best they can possibly make it. I do want to shout out. I do want to shout out to all the drivers who are here today. You know, we've got a very narrow field, but that really just shows the commitment of these people who take the track every single. Those who leave blood, sweat, tears, and pencils out on the uh, out on the tarmac just for your entertainment. It's the pixels for me. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving pixels. I'm just saying, let me, let me make my illusions, okay? Your delusions? Sure, I you can have those. Illusions, illusions. <laughs> you know what? I'm tired of this. I don't have to take this anymore. I quit for the 57th time this season. Please. <laughs> you quit more than fat tires. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not a race unless I quit twice. It's just not. <laughs> Cure Restrepo right now, right but uh, uh Right uh -oh. behind Tweedle D's racing. Making her presence known, kissing the wall just a little bit, but we're going back into the but our cameras are back into the pack, following with Taylor Morello and that race four position. Seventh position pushing into six. Emmy Blueberry just ahead of just ahead of Taylor. We're talking less, we're talking just over one second difference. But you know what they say, it can be a minute or a mile, just depending on how far you got, how far and how fast you are. Indeed, and it seems Kira Stripper has uh, won back the position of pole at the moment. Currently in first position with the fastest lap of 27.683 seconds, followed in second position by Nicola Tax. In third place, and Trish Nisna. Yeah, he, he did go into the pits, so that's probably why he's dropped behind. The, um, Kira and Nico haven't pitted yet. Extending her lead, clean air and nothing but space to run, but only 4% left on the tire. I see pits coming very soon in her future, or, or uh, her progression on the track is going to be uh, very quick. Yes, indeed. Tires currently at 2% closing in. <coughs> Approaching the pits now. Let's see what the how well the pit team performs. However, and as little warned, bear. Little Bear back on the track. Kira, Kira making... That. Yeah, sorry, did clip this side there, but the uh, pit team seemed to have clawed back some of that time. She is back out on track. In position two. 
Hey, if somebody can put in my box in there, I'll close it. Did the track close? Did we get uh, people coming in? I don't think we can get people. I think he's got the track locked down. Yeah. Locked down. Sorry the best to we can do there. is pass the Marvin and they can watch us on TV. Yeah, uh, well, I've been doing that and people say, I want to come, I want to come. See, people are interested. You know, but yeah, the track is locked down. Yep, the track is locked. Was it the... rather British accent there? No, well. It was completely accidental. <laughs> the moment. track is locked. locked. I was <laughs> 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 the track is locked. I told you, know you I lived there just long enough to pick up the accent properly. <laughs> I'm gonna throw the both of y'all off this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm an American, but I pick up accidents. Accidents and accidents. <laughs> yes, you meant to pick up accidents. You know what? You know what? I could have been mean to say something like that, but I left it alone. Left it alone. You probably tripped out your mama's womb. Just say that you were an accident. <laughs> that I, think a, I think a lot of us were accidents. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Is that even a thing anymore? Planned pregnancy? Who does that? I mean, I, I can guarantee it wasn't any time during this last um, during this last pandemic. <laughs> only, mm -hmm. only people in Second Life do that. And that's because they have to wear huds in order to get pregnant. Exactly. And then still, it's a gamble sometimes. Sometimes you get out there and you just, I put it on. What's it going to be? <laughs> Shooting blank. I don't know. <laughs> Shooting blank pixels. <laughs> oh, crapped out as a baby this time. <laughs> oh, shit. It's a baby this time. Oh. That's how many, that's how many so many side babies in this hell, man. <laughs> Not side babies. Side babies. <laughs> Yeah, you, you. you are the father. Oh, <laughs> dang. 22 other people out here. I had to be the one. Come on, Mama Alpha, you lying. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it, this, this type of commentary we get with 30 laps left into the race. By the way, I want to shout out to Tweedledee's Farms, Tweedledee's Farms, and, and on stretch, I, look, look, and uh, Tweedledee's Farms bringing back one of their old favorite products, chocolate salty balls, new, newly formulated. Hey, everybody, have you seen their balls? They're big and salty and brown. If you ever need a quick pick-me-up, check those salty balls in your mouth. Yes, and if Andres wins this race, next year we'll have Colombian salty balls. Ooh. Just in honor of him winning these races. Would it be coconut flavored? That work. Would that be limited edition? Coconut flavored, limited edition. Coconut flavored, limited edition. Coconut, coconut, salty balls. Okay. We're gonna picture Andres for the box. <laughs> a picture of Andres holding up the trophy on the box. The lovely salty ball. Yeah. Hey, that's, that's it. We've already got the marketing set up. Look at here. Look at here. By the way, if you can hear the sound of my voice, so can your customers. Shout out. Please reach out to any of our hosts and producers. And, uh, you know, we're here we for you. have a brain fart in the middle of an advertisement. It does happen, Ding. though. It does happen. It's, but see, that's why we have to have actual ads so I can read the copy. Reach out to our production team, whatever their names are. You know, Good luck with that. People. Hope you get yeah. in touch with them. <laughs> Just reach out to the production team at APC Sports. Emmy, Emmy has been charged for uh, third. She's uh, it, uh, Emmy's on the charge for third. She's been faster than Kira and Pasta so far. Emmy, Emmy coming up inside of Kira. Just knocked back inside Kira Restrepo, holding on to her position, defending her. Defending first, de defending her position at all costs. Emmy Blueberry, Candy tomorrow in second place. Kira Restrepo coming up on Candy. A full, and I emphasize a full three seconds behind Candy tomorrow. Oh, Very wow. Surprised. Somebody got put into the wall. 
Wait, did Gear just push somebody like flat into the yeah, wall? Yeah, Jack. We have uh, Jack Taylor there, kind of uh, having several problems with the vehicle. Um, was slowing down, came out of the pits, went right across, has resulted in at least a couple of collisions. Quite surprised that the safety car has not come out to control that, but uh, it seems as though Jack Whoa. Taylor's vehicle is still in trouble. Meanwhile, we are 36 laps in, 36 laps in. Candy tomorrow and Andres two in the lead. Three seconds, three seconds separates first, second, and third place. One second, by, one second behind third, Emmy Blueberry coming up behind, coming up behind Kira. She, uh, Emmy Blueberry tried to make that pass on the inside and paid for it hard. We are in 37 of the 65 laps. We're more than halfway done. If you're not watching us right now, then you can't hear the sound of my voice. But you should be able, if you are watching us, make sure you pass that link out. Get to, uh, what we'd like you to do, get your friends, your family, your mom, your sister, your cousin. Get them on that link. Make sure they understand the entertainment that is GP1. And it's like a black flag, called. Black flag, black flag. Jack Taylor, the one who had the vehicle which was uh, struggling and having issues with, has been given the black flag officially by the race director. That's the, uh, I would like a, is that the first black flag of the team? Could be, yeah, I think it is. Is that like the roach spray? Pretty much. Why are you calling that man a roach, though? That's but dude, I'm just saying it's a black flag. <laughs> What's That's the first thing that comes into your mind when you hear Black Flag? Because for me, it was a Roach pirate? A pirate? A pirate. <laughs> a pirate. A pirate has a, a skull and, and crossbones on their flag. It's not just it's flag. It's a black flag, though. You're a black flag. <laughs> you know what? We gonna fight. <laughs> you and me throwing hands after this. I don't care who you... I don't care who you... We throwing hands. Oh, you don't want these hands. Or <laughs> like the plank in the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, walk the plank. Yo, all together, hoist the colors high. He Listen, I need you to walk to the end of the plank, shall mate. We die. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. The king he stole the queen from a bed and bound her to a bone. The seas cast by the path. Shall we roam? I'm mad that I know all that. Next thing you know, your wife's gonna accuse you of beating her ass. But I do. Regularly. <laughs> it's a thing. She gonna have a bruise kit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. I can't say that because. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say that. I can't say that. There, 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 there would be pictures. The police wouldn't even have to take pictures. They could just throw them off liquor. I'm not saying I didn't do it. I did. Mm -hmm. It was fun, too. Wow. <laughs> I'm not Johnny, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got you got that. You don't got five islands to ourselves. I, I, I ain't got five islands to, 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 to give you one, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have that. The closest yeah. thing you're getting to the island is Coney Island, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> the facts. The facts. <laughs> Twenty laps <sighs> of the final race of the season to go in position one to Barja. Position oh. one we have Nizna Candy tomorrow in second position. Third Subaja. Fourth Mr. C Sparta. Five Nicoli Tax. Sixth Eli Bennett. Seventh Emmy Blueberry. Eighth Taylor Averillo. Nine Little Bear and in tenth Blackjack. Last race and candy tomorrow. Candy tomorrow. Going to, uh, she, she's going to try to make that run. 
had run for first place. Four seconds, foil, almost five, four, almost five seconds, 4.889 seconds, separate second and third, second and first place. Six seconds, almost, separate Mr. C. Sparta from Candy Tomorrow. Mr. C. Sparta making a hot run in an excellent position, mostly due to pits. Cherry pits. I'm gonna say this though, uh, you know, uh, uh, and I, I don't usually do this, do this, but you know, uh, uh, our man Andres is making some. He, it, I can't say anything because he's putting on a clinic today. I mean, it, it really. I mean, he really is. I can't, it, I can't be upset with any of this. His position right now is is strictly by pinpoint driving. And if you watch him going around that, if you just just take a look at him going around the track. It's textbook, textbook, corner to corner, turn to turn, apex to apex, textbook drive. That's this is this is really a a, a master course on how to win a race right now. Fifteen left. Fifteen laps to go. Just on that point there about the uh, Andres about the um, driving line of Andres Mackley has had has had a pretty good season as well with three poles. Highest grid start was one. Average grid start was five, has had two of the fastest laps, so in two races has been the, f the holder of the fastest lap, but also has three podiums, and so far the best race result has been third, but could that be different today? Yes, he's going to get it today. Pause. We're going to make those uh, caramel salty balls. Columbia. Straight Columbia. from Colombia. Maybe that'll be so. coffee, coffee flavored. Ooh, coffee and coconut. Yes, coffee Man. flavored, Colombia coffee flavored chocolate salty balls. That's, uh, you know what? I think you got some. You make the salty balls, chocolate. <laughs> no, no, I mean coffee. <laughs> yeah, coffee, coffee flavored. Ooh, hard accident right there. Coming out of that, la coming out of the fifth turn. Ooh, boy. Oh, look at pasta in place three. Okay, pasta. Pasta's Pasta moving up. I said at the start of this race, this was anybody's race. This was the time for people, for the consistent drivers, to make their moves. The race director has warned the drivers to take caution on track. We've got to move in, move in. I just feel like caution and racing are two things that don't go together well. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. indeed. <laughs> I feel like a, a cautious race is a Nazi. Whoa, moron. Yep, I see why. We've got a stalled car on the track. Pete, we've got a stalled uh, car yes, on the track. Indeed. I feel like we need a yellow flag. I feel like we need a yellow flag out right now. Indeed, and the uh, vehicle seems to be that oh. of Kira Restrepo. We have a stalled vehicle on the track, ladies and gentlemen. I think if ever. If ever there was a time for a yellow flag to come out. But this is GP1 racing and we don't do yellow flags. Just like black that. ones. We do have black flags. That's horrible. She was racing so hard. She was a... That, uh, with just 10 laps left to race. Ooh. That's so disappointing. Nine wow. laps left to race. That's a, that's a horrible, horrible thing to have happen. Indeed, and that's the, uh, that's the old adage of racing. It's uh, not necessarily where you started or where you were, but it's all about where you actually finish. And uh, talking about where we finish, Antoine Guerrero Mackerley, a.k.a. Andres, 
took a nice uh -huh. little took a nice little hit going in to the pits. Will that affect his uh, race standing? That pit time put him. That pit time put him right behind Candy tomorrow. Two seconds behind Candy tomorrow. The race director has alerted the drivers to say that the portion has been cleared off the track, which should mean we should see the average lap times increase once again. Decrease, rather. And we've got Pasta crashing in turn one. Pasta crash in turn one. Emmy Blueberry's now in third place. Candy tomorrow in first place. Entrecht in second. <laughs> Kazoon tight. Unless you. We just got spit all over our faces. <laughs> COVID. Well, you're still worried about COVID. I'm sorry. What, what is your life? I don't, I don't even know at this point. Come on. I feel like we've definitely been talking, talking about our global pandemic. Thank goodness. GP1 helped everybody make it through the global pandemic. we got five more laps. Five more laps. And Andres is on the tails of Candy Tomorrow. Trying to get that first place back. Did I sound like... Tomorrow. Candy Tomorrow's pitch strategy may be holding up for... Candy Tomorrow with 27% left on those tires. Having to drive hard to stay in front of Andres who's on fresh tires. This is going to slow her down just a bit. Can she hold traction? Three seconds, 3.89 seconds ahead of her next competition. Emmy Blueberry, nine seconds off, nine seconds off the two leaders fighting. Going to be another tight finish, I think, with Candy tomorrow being tailed, as you mentioned there. I think there is sufficient air, though, between positions one and two, Candy and Antresh for Candy to be able to just keep the focus without the pressure of a driver right on your rear tires. Mm -hmm. So hopefully... There's fresh, there's fresh air, but only 19% on those tires. Is that 19 going to hold her in the last three laps? Well, I think I think potentially it should be okay, because that's oh, just... Oh, and there she is! Antrech is officially in the mirror! He's officially in the mirror! Two laps and to go. Two laps to go. Hard fighting. Entrecht closing within half a second. Half a second. Just on the final turn, heading into the final lap for Candy tomorrow. Can she hold her nerve to take this final race? I don't know. I know if there was one more lap, she wouldn't be able to know. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Antresh is doing a fantastic job. I mean, isn't that must be... is on her. Antresh is on her. Coming tight into the curb. It's all about these last two turns here. And last I think Candy's two turns, just she about held it. it. Oh! And, and Candy, Candy holds tomorrow. on. Candy holds on. Another <laughs> excellent finish to the race there. Huzaria racing with the pole, finishing pole with Candy tomorrow in the final race of the season. Wow. Andres oh, put everything he had in that he one. He sure did. Bravo. That was fantastic racing there. I'm just going to say That was bro. awesome. That was some good racing. Now that's how you end the race, right? Indeed. And I agree with you. If there was a couple of more laps there, we might have seen an exchange of positions occurring there potentially. No, I, I don't call the potential. I'm going to tell you that one turn, one turn is the difference between first and second place here. Entrecht with the fast, Entrecht one time in with the fastest lap. Oh, his fastest lap, 26.08 seconds that was good racing. I'm gonna tell you that was some good racing he came my man came out of the pits I'm telling you one more one more lap she, she barely lasted one more turn like literally if there was one more turn left <laughs> it was done it was it was it was another nail-biting finish like we had 
in the previous week. So again, the standard's been set, and as I say, new fresh faces in positions one, two, three, four. And I'm going to say this. I, I, I'm going to say this, Antares. I don't care. How, I don't care how much you wanted to win. You're the winner in my book, buddy. That was a, you, you put your foot down, and it hung in there, bro. I, you, congratulations. If you got to go out, go out with style, buddy. Yeah, that was amazing. Amazing race. And I think certainly one to watch. Certainly one to watch out for. Be one individual who I'll be keeping a very close eye on going further forwards into the future. And here we are now headed to the podium. Final podium of the season. Guys, we didn't think that we would make it. We didn't think we would make it. How's it feel to be done with this season? Have another one in the books. That good, huh? Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was having a conversation with Andres. Oh, and the fireworks go off behind us. And I'm not talking about Angelo farting. <laughs> you know what, I ain't gonna take this bullshit. This is, this is, this is it. Where's my manager? Where's my manager right here? <laughs> oh, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> So in terms of the uh, final ceremonies, uh, what can our uh, um, listeners and those in attendance expect? So is there a um, ceremony for the race finish and then one for the championships for the drivers? Or what can our viewers and those in attendance expect now? Um, pictures. That's what they can expect, pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have a... I don't think that there is an entire uh, separate... Uh, category for um, the end of the race. I'm not sure how they're doing it. I'm honestly not sure. But shout out to Kira. Kira, Kira took off her uniform and everything. She's changed clothes totally. Yeah, she's just like done. I don't blame her. That She was fighting for that. She was fighting for that. That was... Very, very unlucky there. Yeah. And I, know, and I know Kira feels like we weren't on her side for this. Sorry, we weren't. But you won. You did good. <laughs> yeah, it's just unfortunate what happened. But um, sadly, um, as is sometimes the case, these these things and unexpected things can occur. And no, 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 no. And, and, take people and I don't out. Wanna, the... I don't want any of our audience to think that we're taking anything away from Kira. Kira won that race hands down, fair and square, and she won it with good strategy. And there is something to be said to holding on for that last for, the, for that last little bit. There is something to be said to hold on when there's nothing left but the will that says hold on. And that is what made a champion today. Hold on for one more day. I know there is change, but you hold on. No. <laughs> when did we hold on for one more lap? I, I mean, that's what I was. I was like, but it's not a day. We just need another lap. Hold on for one more lap. <laughs> <laughs> a little late. A little late for the joke. A little late for the joke. It's okay. Yeah. Yay, Emmy Blueberry. Because this win, Peter Bees holds on to the third place in the constructors. Woo! All right, Tweedle Dees, congratulations. Thanks, Andres. Congratulations, Tweedle Dees. My Good Lone Ranger. <laughs> I feel like Tweedle Dees should still put out the Colombian. The I think we are going to put out the Colombian balls. balls. Special edition, yeah. yes. Once you get them. You can you can send a you can could Tweedledee should come up with the with the Colombian balls. Make sure they send them to all the competitors. Make sure they have a nice note that says "suck our balls." Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah! Oh, 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 oh
giving people gifts and telling them to enjoy those balls. <laughs> What, what 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 did I say wrong? I didn't I don't I don't, I don't understand what, what did I say? Angel, you're always saying things wrong. What did I say? I missed <laughs> something? What did I say wrong? <laughs> you know what? I don't I don't appreciate this, okay? I try. I try really hard around here. But you know what, you are a great commentator. You are entertaining. I try I, I try and though really your really your hard opinions may not match those of everybody in the room. You know what I forgot to say at the start <laughs> of this thing? Okay. The opinions of the opinions of the broadcasters are the opinions of the broadcasters that do not necessarily reflect those of ATC Sports, GP One Wrestling, or any of our sponsors. Alright, there you go, covered it. Yeah, you just forgot you say it in the beginning. I, yeah, I did. I should really say that in the beginning. I'll remember next <laughs> season. Maybe somebody should make me a checklist of stuff to say. <clears throat> I know Production. all these flags. I know all these flags. Colombian, American, and American. Okay, hey, with the fireworks. Try not to burn nobody up there. <laughs> they flying close. Look, the fireworks. Are, they tried to set us on fire. <laughs> the original shit. I did not appreciate all that shit going on behind me like that. <laughs> No, you about to have that Michael Jackson Jerry curl going on again. <laughs> you the one with the Michael Jackson Jerry curl. You should be scared. <laughs> I'm on fire. I don't know how much activator you got in them curls. You got that activator. They dry. Dry eyes. Yep. Tender, that's what that is. One little spark in the whole head. Of you know, you got nerve with them doodle braids you got in your head. <laughs> okay, one, I ain't got doodle braids. <laughs> okay. And number braids. two, at least I can say it's all my hair. You got twisted through the braids. First you know of all, at least I this. can say ain't none it's of all this. my it's hair. hair. Just because you bought it. <laughs> I didn't have to buy it. I grew. I growed it. I growed it. It's yeah, all you mine. Grow it. You growed it as well. Every on. pixel. Every pixel. Control, okay. alt, delete. <laughs> Every pixel. Okay. We ain't got to do this. See? <laughs> I can't help that your hair came from Mr. Ed. Nope. <laughs> there's My a, ball, there's right a ball racehorse somewhere around here. <laughs> there's a racehorse with a ball booty somewhere around here just so you can wear that wig. <laughs> Listen, just so you got a bunch of curly fries in your head. <laughs> Look like we a, are not going to talk like about We ain't talking fries. about me. You got some curly fries, curly fry braids. How many no, horses enough. had to go cold for you to come in here this morning? Mm -hmm. This is that's not some, horse hair, this is human hair. <laughs> that is some Star Wars stuff you got going on there, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I don't care. I, look, these are my locks. I twist. My locks are braided. Period. Done. Okay? We're good. This is somebody else's locks. <laughs> At least they real. <laughs> real what? Real fake? <laughs> Again, like I said, how many horses' booties went bald for you to come everybody, in here looking like that today? Everybody, everybody, click on Angel's hair and let's hit the render and see how real his hair is. <laughs> I know you ain't talking. But so you drew, you drew that baby hair in with a makeup pencil. Don't start with me. <laughs> Coming in here with baby curls, with baby, with Special Angel's that look like. all the individuals who helped. And special thanks to each and every one of you for your support. Special thanks series. to our drivers, to our track, to, to our track designers this season. Special thanks to our production. <sighs> There's so many people that we care about here. I don't care about. I don't care. About we really do, now. and we want to thank you all for tuning in and watching us every week. All right. Well, that looks like a perfect time to end up. <laughs> end up. Our broadcast with the fireworks behind us, everything going wonderfully. This has been APC Sports. It's the end of another season of GP1. We look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.